Hey everybody, this is Dr. Ryan Dunlop from Full Arch Masters, and I'm here in Fresno, California today at the conclusion of another flagship uh, Full Arch Masters course. And I'm joined today by uh, one of the uh, attending teams uh, who just finished uh, their four-day boot camp uh, learning uh, all that we have to offer at Full Arch Masters. So, uh, Doc, why don't you just introduce yourself, tell us who you are and uh, where you're from and kind of who, who you brought with you today. So my name is Dr. Elliot DeWeese. Uh, I'm practicing in Nashville, Tennessee, and brought with me Craig. He's an administrative, kind of a patient concierge, and then Haley, my assistant. Awesome. So um, what? how did you hear about Full Arch Masters, and what was kind of your expectation coming into the course? Yeah, so I actually uh, heard about it a while ago through a Sprint Ray webinar, actually, that you did. Oh, that's right. And then I had a, a buddy who attended, and <clears throat> me and him are always brainstorming about full arches and just, you know, that whole game. And you recommended to come and just talked about, you know, how it really helped his team kind of get over the hump to doing more just by, you know, kind of learning the whole process and the whole flow. Um, and that's kind of why I came. So you're here with two of your team members. Um, what do you think the, what was the experience like for, for you guys to come to the Full Arch Masters course? I loved it. I love watching your team work. They're like a well-oiled machine. They just get right in there and they know exactly what to do. And that's what I hope for our office. Awesome. And and your role predominantly is like a chairside yes. assistant. So you're mm -hmm. going to be pretty intimately involved with scanning and capturing data. Um, what, you know, what, what was there one or two things that kind of like stood out to you as really fun and impressive that you're going to be doing? Well, I really like the digital workflow a lot versus the traditional. So I like all the new technology that comes with it. Awesome. So you're looking forward to that. Mm -hmm. How about you? Uh, yeah, it was it was really great. And just like uh, Haley said, you kind of get to see the culmination of like where we're headed. The, the and I'm, I'm sure, you know, everybody says, well, we, we've got stuff to work on. We can improve. <laughs> But from where we're standing, you know, we're kind of just starting on the path and seeing it that not only can it be done, but it can be done very well. And, and that was kind of the best thing for me, as well as Miss Jackie is awesome and yeah. just a wealth of knowledge. So oh, that's yeah, a shout was out great. to you, Jackie. <laughs> yeah, Jackie. So, that's cool. So, so you're predominantly front office. Yeah, so front you office. see patients as they come through the door. Yeah. And then uh, you two are obviously on the clinical side, so you're going to be getting them through the rest of the process. How important is it for your front office and your back office to be able to speak this language at the same time? Yeah, um, I mean, that's really the kind of the, the secret ingredient, right? I mean, if you're not all on the same page or speaking the same language, these patients are they can be kind of fragile, right? Like right. You, you got to all be a cohesive unit or you're just, you're not really going to get these types of patients. And that's why I wanted to bring them so we could all get on the same page and kind of grow as a team into it. Because, you know, I go to a lot of courses, you go to a course and you get excited, you learn things, right? you go back and you try to, yeah, you, you don't know anything or you try to replicate it to your office and it's just not the same. Right. So I definitely think bringing people to it is an important aspect. Awesome. So you, you guys are already doing some full arch cases. You have these <clears throat> patients in your office. Um, what are you excited to bring back and change in the workflow? Like what are some of the sticking points that you guys have had up to this point and what a, do you see a change in any of that moving forward? I hope that my photography gets better. Ooh, that's a yeah. good one. So that's I take good pretty one. good pictures now, but I definitely know they could be better. For okay. Sure. Well, it sounds like you're going to be out in this mm -hmm. room after yep. we're done. Yep. Uh, what about you? I'm really excited to bring you, the flow that, that you guys propose um, as far. We, we've been, you know, trying some stuff out and kind of, for lack of a better word, kind of winging it, you know, mm -hmm. trying to see how we figure this out having just rock solid steps to go through right. is really kind of exciting to to just really dial stuff in and make sure that it's a very natural cohesive okay. um, flow through the office for these patients in specific it's great great goal what about you doug what were some of the hang-ups and some of the solutions uh i mean i love picking your brain about surgeries and how you do it and right. kind of the what you look for and what you're like you know kind of going in thought process um and then i mean 
really the photography too and just all the little extra stuff um, and that makes my heart warm because <laughs> yeah. we see a lot of substandard photography even from <laughs> alumni yeah. and it's like we showed you <laughs> so that makes me really happy to hear that you guys are yeah, going to focus on that so that's cool so i, I won't keep it too long because i know they're doing it right there um but uh well that that kind of gives me uh, the next question is, you know, you're three and a half days. You got this last little segment. I don't know if you guys are traveling today or tomorrow, but you got a little bit more time. What's, what's the one thing um, that you want to get a little bit extra in your last couple of minutes? Is there anything that you thought, oh, I, w I, w I wish I could get a little bit more of that? Maybe photography? Or photography. Anything? And then I would like to talk to the lab about ExoCAD and just learn okay. a little bit more about that and maybe even talk <clears throat> about the course that you have coming is up. Is that something that. that you're maybe interested in learning? Potentially. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, I think we've seen a lot of good quality yeah. assistance training make that transition too and incorporate that into their into their, their daily workflow so yeah you know. uh, for me just probably just the way you do your media photography all right. that I mean I just feel like we're we're not strong there so that's great for you to yeah. be able to acknowledge that you know that's an easily improved point easily improved so what about you anything I want to sharpen my marketing brain because okay. I've got sales brain most of the time and marketing is <laughs> it's similar but a very different game it is. Sales and marketing are, di are different animals. Um, okay, well, um, one of the questions I always ask is, you know, uh, there may be docs out there or, or team uh, teams out there that have seen what we do. They're kind of interested, but they're a little nervous. Uh, what would you say to a doctor out there who's kind of like, maybe I should do this, maybe I shouldn't? Yeah, for me, I mean, like, you know, we do a lot of the digital stuff, so you may be thinking, hey, I already do all this, like, what am I gonna learn or whatever? Um, but it's it's so much more than that when you're trying to do this mm. procedure and everything that's involved. Um, so, like he said, learning your all's flow, learning the steps, like she said, the photography, the lab, all of that, there's so many pieces that I don't see how it wouldn't be beneficial. Right. You know what I mean? I mean, there's always something else to learn and just, you know, kind of sharpen your tool set. Right. right. <clears throat> so, um, you know, you came to the course and obviously I do a lot of the teaching and I kind of, you know, created a lot of this. But, you know, it takes a lot more than just one person from my side. Right. Um, I have a really amazing team of people around me. Um, is there anything or anybody that kind of just stood out to you this week and uh, any shout outs that you want to give or anything that struck you? I loved your wife's uh, presentation. Oh, really? I really, really enjoyed oh, that a lot. Hey, Bonnie, that's a shout out. <laughs> I really <laughs> did. I really did. I enjoyed hers a lot. Yeah, very, very important information. Yeah, it really was. A lot of things, things I didn't know. Fair cloth to make the checkout. Right, right, exactly. <laughs> but, uh, no, Ani, you will love to hear that. <laughs> anything um, like that? I think everybody just did a great job, really. Yeah. I mean, I know that's such a cookie cutter answer, but you know, it was awesome. I think the lab people were super helpful because I was mm -hmm. asking them a million questions about all that <laughs> yeah. stuff. Uh, but yeah, every everybody really is just like an open book, man. Mm -hmm. I really appreciate that. Great. Yeah, Miss Jackie and your awesome media team. Everybody's been so open and just more than willing and excited to share right. what they know and how they can help. It's it's just a really good experience. Well, that's fantastic. I, I know they work hard and they appreciate the feedback. So I, I will definitely make sure they get it. Um, so I just want to thank the three of you uh, for taking time out of your lives and your, your business uh, to come out here all the way from Nashville. I was just in Nashville like a couple of weeks ago. So we've been traversing the country. Um, but uh, I appreciate you taking the time to come out here and learn. And I hope that you got a lot out of it. Sounds like you did. Uh, but this is really just the beginning. It's the beginning of, of the journey. And uh, I hope to be a part of it in any way, shape, or form um, and, and provide any support that you guys need moving forward because, you know, this course is different now than it was a year ago, you know, so everything changes constantly. And this is a very rapidly evolving uh, field in dentistry. So you guys are definitely way ahead of the curve. You're the top 1% uh, already, and there's still room for improvement. So. I wish you guys the best of luck on your journey and anything you guys need at any time. Just don't hesitate to ask. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, so it. thanks for tuning in to another edition of the Full Arch Masters podcast. I'm Dr. Ryan Dunlop. If you're interested in following uh, along with Dr. Deweese and his team, uh, you can sign up for a course. Uh, we teach them uh, every month or two. 
Um, you can check us out online at fullarchmasters.com. Message me on one of the socials. Um, I'm always accessible. Um, and until the next Full Arch Masters podcast, enjoy your day and uh, keep full arching. And uh, we'll, t- we'll talk to you soon. Thanks.